So now in this video, we're going to take a look at the color code for 1 kilo ohm, 1000 ohm resistors, and 10 kilo ohm, 10,000 ohm resistors. So resistors tend to come, especially for hobbyist electronics, in either this uh, beige package or this blue package. And ultimately the chemistry is different between these two, but uh, you don't really have to worry about that. For the most part, you just have to worry about what the resistance is and so we have the color code on there and the beige one you see we have a gold stripe on one end that's our tolerance so right here gold stripe means five percent so whatever value we get from these three stripes we can be five percent higher or lower these blue ones tend to have a brown stripe on one end and we want to put that to the right when we're looking at it there may also be a brown stripe on the other end but if you only see one brown stripe, you know that's to the right. And if you're not sure which brown stripe goes to the right, it should be the one with the most distance from the next stripe. There should be more distance from here than from here. And uh, sometimes it's a little tough to see. You may have to measure it. But in uh, any case, the brown stripe over to the right when that's the only brown stripe that goes here. So the digits are these four. So as you can see, we got four total stripes on the beige one and five total stripes on the blue one. But the color code is the same. So here's the color code. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to explain that anymore. But now we're going to move up here. And uh, all we're going to need is the top part of the color code here. So with the one kilo ohm resistor, first we'll do the beige one that has four stripes. So we have brown for the first stripe. Brown is one. Black for the second stripe black is zero. That's the first two digits. The last stripe, remember we're not counting the tolerance stripe, but the last stripe for the resistance is the number of zeros. It's the multiplier stripe. And so we got red for two. So that means two zeros. That's the easiest way to think of it. You could also think of it as times a hundred, but I like to just say red is two for two zeros. So that's one zero, 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 one thousand, 1,000 ohms. So the gold stripe means it can be 5% higher or lower. And up here, I wrote the range of values you can expect with these beige ones. 950 ohms to 1,050 ohms. That's 5% lower and 5% higher. Now, the blue striped one, or the uh, blue resistor, as you can see here, we have a brown stripe on both sides. There's more space over here, so we'll have to put this to the right. But... Uh, it may be a little tough to see so be careful but uh, in any case again we got brown for one and black for zero just like this one but now we have a third digit so black for zero again one zero zero one zero zero now we have our multiplier stripe here so we already have one zero zero and so for the thousand ohms now we have brown here for one so one zero as you can see there one so one zero zero and then one zero for one thousand one thousand ohms now since this has a one percent tolerance now our range of values is nine hundred and ninety to one thousand and ten it could be as low as nine hundred and ninety or as high as one thousand and ten that's just the way it comes from the factory they're not made perfectly 100 percent perfectly they might be slightly off but usually they're really close to their value now, we're going to move to the 10 kilo ohm resistor. So, so uh, 1,000, 1 kilo ohm, and 10,000, 10 kilo ohms is very similar numbers, except for you got one more zero. So again, we have the first stripe is brown for one, second stripe is black for zero for the beige one. Now the third stripe, the multiplier, of course that's different. We have one more zero than we did before. So orange is three, and the multiplier is orange, so we got three zeros here. Or you could just multiply one and zero by a thousand. However, it's easier for you. So one zero, 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 that's 10,000. And at a 5% difference, or a 5% tolerance, we could have up to 9,500 ohms, or I should say as low as 9,500 ohms, or as high as 10. 1500 ohms that's 5% lower to 5% higher 
we can expect it to be anywhere within that range and uh, for the most part when you're building a circuit and they recommend a resistor this 5% difference is fine generally they expect the resistor to have the uh, gold stripe for a 5% tolerance and also they expect you'll use a quarter watt resistor these are quarter watt resistors they're the most common resistors generally if you have a resistor you don't know the wattage it should be a quarter watt or higher so now we'll come to the blue resistor with its five stripes so again just like up here everything's the same we got brown for one black for zero black for zero that's the first three digits and then we have the multiplier digit so now again this is uh, red red is two for two more zeros so with the blue resistors we got one zero zero one zero zero and then the red stripe for two zeros so zero zero for ten thousand and now this is a one percent tolerance brown stripe there so we could have resistance as low as nine thousand nine hundred ohms or as high as ten thousand one hundred ohms with these blue resistors so now it's not crucial to learn the color code I actually don't have it memorized by any means when you get a kit or buy resistors they tend to come in baggies and a lot of times the baggie is marked like you see here this kit they came with the uh, baggie marked so as long as I keep putting back the resistors that I take out of this package I know they're one kilo ohm and then same with this one as long as I take it out of this package put it back in this package I'll know that it's 10 kilo ohm now there was at least one time I use one kilo ohm a lot more than uh, 10 kilo ohms and I was putting away a project that I did probably the night before and I thought I had a one kilo ohm resistor but when I was gonna put it in the baggie I noticed it had an orange stripe instead of a red stripe and uh, so that helped me help prevent me from making a mistake there once I saw that orange stripe I knew to double check the color of the uh, resistors in the baggie and definitely orange was the 10 kilo ohm I was about to put in one kilo ohm and uh, so just being familiar with the color code can help and then of course if you have a loose resistor you're not sure of the value at all you can take the multimeter set it to measure resistance and just connect the two probes doesn't matter which one to which side across the resistor and the meter will tell you the resistance that's the easiest way that's probably the way the vast majority of resistors are checked by uh, hobbyist or professional also I forgot to mention that uh, usually these uh, resistors with the paper stripe on both ends they have the value written on this uh, paper here and so this kit the baggies are marked the baggies aren't always marked but uh, this is a rare case where they're not marked here almost always when I see resistors the values written on this paper here so just make sure you keep those resistors separate from other resistors and it should be easy to know the value